Environmental pollution can occur when a chemical is released into the environment in an uncontrolled manner. Commonly, this falls into two categories. Spills and leaks, and air contamination. Both can happen inside the work area or in the outside environment. Damage to the environment, sources of fuel for fires, and health hazards from air contaminants are the problems that arise from pollution. Before implementing control measures, we need to have information about the particular substance we are using and to know what happens when we combine one or more substances. The starting point for this is combining information such as material safety data sheets with the experience of trained personnel in the workplace. We may be able to eliminate the use of some chemicals completely. Is this chemical actually needed? We should evaluate each process or activity, identify hazardous chemicals, and then try to substitute a less hazardous chemical that will perform the same task. We can also look at the way a chemical is used. For example, a spray process may be replaced with a dipping process. Ventilation can remove airborne contaminants, ensure an adequate supply of oxygen, and help prevent fires by removing flammable vapors. Ventilation units can be permanent installations or portable units. All containers should include the product name and the name of the manufacturer. 